If you get an E2 error message, you have to open the back of the machine and make sure that this top wire here is plugged in. So whenever it's unplugged, you just have to simply realign it and just click it in. That usually fixes the E2 message. Uh, if it is plugged in and it's still having the error, I take a look at the front of the machine. One of these sensors not being pressed. See how this one's being pressed already? It's probably too too high. It's probably up here and this button's not being pressed. You can see it already being depressed right here. This could possibly be a little higher and it's not pressing at all, which is causing it to have E2. See how this one is right here? When the machine comes down, this bar will click this. And when it comes back up, it's gonna click this. Chances are this isn't even being pressed, so you have to maybe just unscrew it here remove the putty here and just kind of like lower it so that when, when it's in the resting position it's touching the screw here the sensor is being already clicked